Hey guys, I recently encountered a problem with my self start on my 220. Battery was fine but it was not cranking the engine up. I actually encountered this problem before too, while riding in Lonavla. It was on Labor's day, me and my friend went on a Sunday morning ride. My bike suddenly stopped running, I thought I engaged the kill switch by mistake, but that was not it. We tried everything we could to make it run, but it was of no use. If we had given any more tries, the battery would have drained out. After 30 minutes of struggle we gave up, thinking of a way to tow the bike back to a mechanic. It was Labor's day and almost every shop was shut. As soon as we gave up, a car with 5 people came to us and they asked whether if we had some issues with our bike. We told them about our situation, and to our surprise they told us that 4 of them were mechanics. Their boss was taking them out on a ride as it was a holiday, they told us how lucky we were. They had found the problem within 2 minutes, they told us there was no current flow, and the problem was in the interlock relay. It is located under the tank, they cleaned the terminals of the relay and the bike was good to go. I considered myself very lucky that day, it was a scary experience being stranded in an isolated place. Those guys were really helpful and I am still very grateful. That day I learned a great lesson, that you should know how to troubleshoot your bike should you get stranded alone on a long ride. After that day I started learning more about my bike, watching videos on YouTube helped me a lot. I decided to service and maintain my bike by myself. It was a great feeling and I felt more connected with my bike. I still try to gather as much information as I can should I get in any scary situation again. So when this problem occurred again, I knew what to do. I went and bought a new interlock relay and replaced the old one on my bike, the bike cranked up instantly. I'm learning more about my bike every day, and it makes me appreciate it more. I want to be able to repair all kinds of problems on my bike in the future. It will be very helpful in the long rides. So if you guys have the same problem, you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching, I recommend you guys to maintain your vehicle by yourself, it's a very satisfying feeling. See you guys in the next video.